लास्ट ईयर ड्यूरिंग जनवरी वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड आस्क मी यार मेरा तो इलेवंथ का बहुत बैकलॉग है मेरा सिलेक्शन कैसे हो पाएगा टुडे ही स्टडिंग इन द ओल्डेस्ट एंड वन ऑफ द बेस्ट गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज ऑफ एम पी बाय फॉलोइंग द सेम सिक्स गोल्डन पॉइंट्स दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो टुडे हाय एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम माधव त्रिपाठी अ सेकेंड ईयर एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट एट जी एम सी नीमच आई हैव ट्राई टू कीप दिस वीडियो वेरी शॉर्ट एंड कंसाइज बिकॉज आई नो एवरी मिनट इज वेरी क्रूशियल फॉर यू सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड फॉलो एवरी पॉइंट मैंशन इन दिस वीडियो एज दिस कैन श्योरली गारंटी योर सिलेक्शन इन नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो लेट्स बिगिन फर्स्टली आई टोल्ड हेम डोंट पैनिक बैकलॉग इज नॉर्मल सो आई टोल्ड हेम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिलैक्स Having backlog is normal. Having backlog does not mean that you are out of race. Almost every NEET aspirant have backlog at some point during their preparation. The real problem is not having backlog. The real problem is panicking and stressing out about it and not doing anything. So stop feeling guilty, stop comparing yourself with others and accept one thing, yes there is backlog but it can be covered. The next point is make a clear backlog list. I want you to take a notebook and list out all of the chapters that you have in your backlog of physics, chemistry and biology and then prioritize them according to high weighted chapters at the top and then the chapters linked to your current syllabus and in the last the chapters that you have partially studied before or you haven't studied at all. When backlog is on paper it feels manageable and systemic not scary. Next point is divide your study hours smartly. Now you have to cover your current syllabus and cover your backlog simultaneously so you have to divide your study hours smartly for example if you are studying 10 hours a day you can't give all 10 hours to current syllabus only or you can't give your 10 hours to backlog only you have to fix 2 3 or 4 hours of study daily according to how much backlog you have and use the remaining 6 7 hours to cover your current syllabus never leave out current topics to cover your backlog otherwise today's syllabus become tomorrow's backlog so you have to manage them both on the same day next point is set a deadline backlog without a deadline or goal never ends fix a clear date by which you will finish your backlog so that you have time for question practice mock test and revision a deadline creates seriousness and discipline for example if you have 30 chapters in your backlog and you have to finish them before february end so what i used to do is i used to write down what chapter i am going to do today like this like this so you can keep a small diary like this and write down your daily goals and your weekly goals and your deadline before which you have to finish your backlog let's move on to the next point which is very important question practice is more important than doing theory alone at this stage watching lectures only is not enough you have to do a lot of question practice especially ncert based questions and previous year questions because questions teach you how to apply a concept in the real exam and help you identify your weak areas so that you can work on them to make them strong Last and the most crucial point is how to cover your backlog exactly. See at this stage for most of the chapters one shot is your best option right now. But for those chapters which have high weightage and you are having difficulty in understanding them or you are totally blank about them go through detailed lectures. If a chapter is very big you can divide it into two or three parts and cover it in two or three days. See your approach should be watch the lectures whether it's a longer one shot videos or detailed lectures. make it short notes simultaneously and formula sheet also and then practice a lot of questions a lot of different types of question of that chapter so that you can understand different concepts by practicing questions remember question practice is more important than theory alone at this stage backlog does not decide your need rank but your actions will do you don't need perfection you just need consistency and hard work many students crack need even after having huge backlogs because they stop panicking and start executing So start from today not tomorrow not next week today even one focus study session matters thank you so much for watching the video till the end and if you want a separate video on how to cover one chapter in a single day let me know in the comment section